Uh, a very, very good morning to you and um, good evening for those who are on the west side um, in the States. Here in Kuwait, it's about um, 11 past 8 in the morning. The Mr. Delicious has already left for work, so I am here. And um, today's video, I just want to take you through what I usually do every year when I have to go back home. Um, not have to when I am privileged to go back home, I should say that. Um, so, um, in order to prepare for Kenya, I brought a few things that you need. Um, and of course, one of them is a passport. Um, privileged to have the Kenyan passport, the international, uh, the East African passport now. So here we go. So this is how it looks like. So if you're a Kenyan and you've not received your new passport, you need to do that because you're running out of time. I think check with the embassies. I don't know when the deadline is, but you need the newer one. The older one was like the American one. It was a dark navy blue, but this one is now the newest ones that's required uh, by the government of Kenya. So check with your embassies concerning that or your uh, representatives, wherever you are in the world. The other thing you need is uh, your yellow fever card. As you can see, I got mine um, a while ago, so I still keep it with. Um, they might request for require you to have one, so please have that. And then also for me being a Kenyan, I also have my little ID. It's easy to carry with me than carrying a passport for identification. So I just carry my ID and I can go to the parks, I can go to you know places that I need to identify myself as a national. So there you go. And uh, finally, this is just a little you know thing I've been carrying with me for a while. But this is uh, what, I don't know if they're still, they still look the same, but this is how the uh, driver's license used to look back in the day. I mean, like, we are talking about a long time ago. And I got it and I never used it. I drove just to get my, uh, my driver's license, but then after that, I've never used it. This is because when I'm in Kenya, I'm a little um, timid because we have my tattoos. For those who don't know what my tattoos are, those are like the mini buses and they they're very reckless at times when they drive so if you're not very confident on the road and you have big trucks and then you have my tattoos um it's it's a little scary so i don't drive in kenya out of choice and i want to keep it that way so anyway if you are you need your uh, you need to drive in kenya you can also use the international driver's license which is what i use in this country um in kuwait so um, you can use that as well, it works, but also you can use your domestic one if you have one. Um, anyway, so today, in preparation for Africa, in preparation for Kenya, I one of the things I usually do is to parge. I have a lot of uh, things, you know, I have a lot of clothes and shoes and jewelry um, that I really don't use after a whole year, and, or maybe they've gone out of style, my style, my size, my shape. Uh, my status, you know, sometimes when you're like feeling a little hot diggity and you wear like your, you know, your sh shorts and sometimes you don't want to wear them anymore. So during this time of year, I go through my closet, which is why I am recording here. I go through my closet and I remove anything that I've not worn in a while or anything that I know that I, I'm just done wearing it. I've like overused it, you know, I've worn it so many times. So um, I'll show you a little bit of it. I have so many closet spaces. I have a place where I have like regular clothes. These are the ones I use on a, you know, on a daily basis. These are the clothes that you will find me wearing most of the time. But if they have clothes that are like long dresses, dinner dresses, fancy dresses, coats, we are in Kuwait, so it's really, really hot. So I don't need coats or jackets. Um, those things are put elsewhere, you know. Uh, the, the only ones here are just regular clothes, shorts, uh, regular shirts, things like that. So here, let me show you. Um, so the first one is just my regular clothes. I'm sure most of you have seen me wearing those. And I know someone asked me because I did I did a showcase on my regular shoes and asked me where I put my Christian Louboutins. See above there, I have a few of them. So they're all stuck up there. They're safer there. And um, so. Maybe one day, maybe the next video I'll do is about uh, a Christian Louboutin shoe because I like those are my favorite. If you want to be good to me, buy me a CL shoe. Just a heads up. Anyway, so uh, so the top are the dresses, regular dresses, and then we have shirts at the, at the middle. 
and as you can tell it's overflowing it's really hard to um, it's really hard to close that even I broke one of the pieces um, yesterday so Rob has to fix that one for me but anyway so these are some of the things I need to really purge and cleanse and at the bottom I have just regular like you know summer dresses really short dresses sometimes here in Kuwait you know you know it's it's not culturally acceptable to wear really short clothes so probably if we know we're gonna stay here for a long time I need to start getting rid of those as well or um, take them to the US or to the UK where I can wear them uh, more often um, so more clothes here Again, as I say, if you followed me, you know where I, I usually, you know, you've seen some, me wear some of these things here, you know. And as you can see the bottom, that's what I was talking about. I broke, a, I broke a drawer, so Rob has to fix this for me. Sorry, I had to put it away. But anyway, more clothes, and then above there I have just regular um regular um purses they are not designer purses i normally put them up there because i rarely get to use them so um i i'll have to you know purge those ones as well because if i don't use them why keep them someone else can be enjoying them uh, and as i said we have these are everyday clothes the ones that are folded right there those are my pants you know just regular pants and then at the bottom i have like my jeans so um the, i also have a lot of those so i don't need all that and then as i said the coats the long dresses the fancy dresses the dinner dresses all those things i put elsewhere you know um scarves uh just like shirts i have like those you know i have like the silky shirts that i usually wear i have to put them elsewhere because they're so sensitive that if i put them there they will be you know they'll start running because they'll be torn in no time so I put those as well elsewhere. So that is the plan for today. So I'm going to do a little bit of purging. I'm going to do a little bit of cleansing in preparation for Kenya. And then I will show you what, like a pie, if anything. If I find something I need to get rid of, I'll show you how it's going to look like later. Um, then also here, I don't know if you can see this. This is a regular hamper. You know. So, but I'm going to like, um, I'm not getting rid of a my hats or our hats really just that we need this for africa as well so it's nice when you want to go on a safari to look a little dapper you know what i'm saying <laughs> um so anyway and uh what else yes the other thing i need to do is probably i don't know if you can see it but so as i was saying um i have my my hoops or my dangling earrings here so um i keep them here for they make it easy when you're having an outfit to figure out what you want to wear. And especially when you have your hair down, it's cute. Or even when you have your hair up, it's also cute to wear them. So most of them I will keep because, you know, they have a space for it. I don't need to get rid of this. Um, but uh, I have this right here. I don't know if you can see it. This is all like my jewelry. Not like, you know, small jewelry, but big pieces. You know, things that I wear that are big, you know, bigger than life. I should wear this in time, you know, like this one right here. Really cute, ain't it? This is a little choker. But, um, I will do a little parching on these ones as well. But again, on those that I don't wear all the time, as often as I should. And then, some of these things, like this is my, you know, I'm representing <laughs> like all these hair pieces that I really some of them I don't even wear you know the bands I don't even wear them I'm gonna start right now anyway so if I don't wear it for a while I don't need to keep it for any reason so here we go and you can see this, this is all the like the African stuff oh I don't know if you can see that but oh it gets stuck sometimes yeah. You know, for those who love the Maasai, I got a piece of them. I have like even the headpiece right there. These ones I will keep forever, really. There's no need to get rid of them because they remind me of home. So, uh, yes. And the last thing maybe I will probably have to purge on is 
this right here. I don't know if you can see, but again, piece of jewelry that I really don't have to, I don't wear all the time. Like this one, I don't wear all the time. So I'm gonna get rid of that as well. Uh, anything that I don't wear, well, this is Africa, so this one I keep. Anything that have, anything that's come from Africa, I'm not sending it back to Africa. Doesn't make sense. So the question is, so the, the donation, what do I do? Not the donation, the pouch. What do I do with that? So I have my nieces. Yeah, let me put, let me put this down. It's easier to talk when I have that. I have my nieces who are my, the same size and the same, you know, feet. And I have my cousins as well. So I just give it to them and then they sort it out. Whoever gets something they like, they take it. If they don't like it, they continue distributing. It will always find a home. So, and I think that makes me feel a little better because then I can continue shopping. Because you know me, you know I like my shopping. Um, it's therapy, as my husband says, you know. Retail therapy. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just saw this actually. Too blessed to be stressed. I think when I was doing my school, when I was getting my bachelor's in nursing, I had to put this next to me because that is a stressful course. So. I was too, uh, I'm too stressed to be blessed. Uh, I'm too blessed to be stressed. I'm not too stressed to be blessed. I'm always blessed. You know what I'm saying? God's been good to me. Uh, but yeah, I need to fix it. But so we will see uh, if there's the stuff that I've gotten. Re I'm going to get rid of, or I'm going to parch and um, pack. I hope I have enough bags to be able to carry them back home um, to give to my family and you know so you will see if i'll get rid of anything and whatever it is you'll see like either a pile or none whatsoever so if you see this video that means i've gotten enough to be able to showcase because sometimes it's so hard and you have you get so attached to clothes but i try not to i don't get attached to anything really i really don't that's probably a blessing and also not a blessing because i i get rid of stuff very easily uh anyway so we will see you later when I have done a little bit of, you know, work and I have tried to clean closets and empty closets and put them in a pile and then hopefully I do some packing in the course of the week. So I will see you later. As usual, be good to yourself and be good to one another. Hello, once again, it's about 11.25 in the morning. So the last time I spoke with you or I spoke to you or videoed this was about eight. So I've been at it for uh, three hours. So um, I did a little purging or a lot of purging actually. I'm very proud of myself. So I still have a lot of clothes, but I have filled up two bags, which I am hoping that we will have enough, you know, luggage limit because i think there's we are flying with i don't know uh, i don't know what airline so we want to make sure that we don't have to pay for extra luggage uh because of my collection so here you go so we got two bags two big bags 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 i got like from pants um to really a nice shirt and actually this one has quick on it so this is a shirt dress. I've worn it a few times, um, so it's time for it to go to a new home. Um, yeah, so we have like everything. I have like even a, a gown. So one of my, I bought it by DK, or rather my husband didn't like it. So I liked it, but Rob was like, oh, oh, oh. so I think it's really cute though. Um, so. These are some of the things that will go to my family and hopefully someone likes them or you know if they don't they'll just distribute them to their friends as well so they'll find a home um, you know just regular clothes I have a shirt dress I like these shirt dresses so someone will find a um, an outfit from my collections here, so so anyway, really good stuff. Uh, I think this is a dress, yes. Oh my gosh, I really like this shirt. Yeah, 
I mean, the dress, it's really <laughs> trendy. It has a lot of information, um, like a walking billboard. So check this out. It talks about love and um, never ride faster than your angels can fly. And here is Senorita. Senorita Panuras. Um, and la 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 I'm not listening. I love this shirt. Probably, I don't know. Hmm, I might take this back. <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure it out. And then, God save the queen. That's my husband's people. Yeah, so. It's a very nice dress, so. There you go. Um. As you can tell, I'm a little, I'm a little tired. I, it's been like three hours I haven't stopped. So, um, remember, I was doing a showcase because we are trying to raise some money for um, Angels of Hope Kibera. So, I showed you a couple of bags, and I said if no one takes them, I'll just send them. I'll just take them with me. Uh, I'll just give them to my nieces and my cousins. So they are very very lucky so they'll be able to get this three and they'll be all matchy match because they like each other especially my two nieces that like my daughters they will like this oh um, I have a little bit you know this is very nice actually for travel um, this one I will wear it while in Africa you know while moving up and down in Africa and then if someone likes it, I can leave it for them. It's not a big deal. But I thought it's kind of cute and it's just all these girls looking all fabulous. Though I should ask, I'm not seeing a sister here. We need to have a black girl here representing. You know what I'm saying? Black girls for all. Okay, let's see. I think I also showed you this piece. I'm also gonna give that away. And this, I'm giving that away as well. Uh, for shoes, this is one of them. I'm sure this is so fancy. I like it, but someone will, it will have a new home. So, someone will be getting it, wherever it is. If my family members are watching, so you better let me know if you want this. Okay, I've always worn this, but they are so uncomfortable because my legs swell. So after a while, they start cutting cutting on me right here so I think it was time for me to like let them go they're really cute though so I mean so anyway these are just the shoes I'm giving up I'm giving away as well purses and um clothes lots of clothes for sure one of the things I saw this earlier and I when I, I was videoing earlier or recording earlier and I said I was gonna get rid of it but then I wait and I thought well you know I like a lot of orange as you guys know so um I'm gonna keep it for an extra round if I don't wear it by then within the next year then I'll let it go so this one had to go back and as I said sometimes you have to do that because if I if I get rid of this I'll end up buying another one probably at an expensive rate or price so and it's still it's still cute it fits it's elastic it's playful so it's not a big deal and that might even change in a few minutes as soon as before we leave I decide I don't want it anymore so that tends to change but as I said I'm I'm exhausted three hours on the run I'm trying to finish that so I'm just gonna start putting them in bags probably in the course of this week and then um, then we will be headed to Kenya for some great time family time with my stepchildren and with my hubby of course and uh, so we're hoping to have a good time there so I'm just gonna go get some rest or something actually I need to work out a little bit I haven't worked out in a few days I don't work out all the time I work out when I feel like it and so maybe today I'll do a little bit of working out but all in all that's day one of preparation for uh, Kenya so I showed you my passports you know things that I needed you need your passport you need your yellow fever card um, you need some form of identification if you're a local um, 
you also need money that helps you know sometimes you go to places where they do only cash they don't take credit cards so have loose cash on you at all times um uh, currency you can take dollars dollars go a long way but then also you can trans um you can change them once you get to kenya uh the other thing is of course um this was for me it doesn't require you to do that when you're going to africa but we always say you know if you have more than you need or more than enough share with the world it doesn't have to be africa maybe next time i'll be going to mongolia or somewhere like that and as i remember actually we went to i went to central america once and they wanted books so i remember there's a time uh, i was in central america and we had to take books and pants so anyway you can give back go for it it doesn't have to be kenya but of course i speak for kenya because that's mama land for me so anyway have a great day god bless we'll see you tomorrow i think i'll be talking about um as i said earlier christian Louboutins, how to um the journey of having these shoes and what they represent for me so until next time it's joyce signing out love one another and love yourself because yourself bye